All right, in this video, I want to show you how I put my application and say intentions inside the Aerofly. It's actually pretty easy. So I start off in Steam VR. I have to run this through Steam VR. That's where Aerofly is, and uh, it all seems to work pretty good. But the first thing I need to do is I need to um, access OS Overlay, which is the application that allows me to drag these things in. So on my left controller, I just hit the kind of menu options, like those three bars. I come up here. I go to my library. Now I have two of them. I have OVR Toolkit that also does the same thing. This is nice, it's okay, but what I've found with it is that it's off-centered when it goes into Aerofly to where if you go over the icon, it's actually off like 20 pixels the other way. So the one that I use is OS um, Overlay right here, and I just click it to do there. I do launch. It's gonna run through its uh, process. Now, it's kind of a weird thing. It, it would just stay like this with this resume sitting there, and so I usually I just give it a little bit of time and I just click the resume. And then you can see there's a little icon in front of me and then it will go down. And then when I turn my wrist over, that is actually the controls. So that all, all works really well. I'm going to show you how that works when I get into it. So now that I got that, I go ahead and I open up Aerofly. And in this case, the screen opened up right in front of me. Sometimes it doesn't. You'll just see this blue kind of stuff, um, the blue area around me. And you won't see the screen. That's because the screen's way below. It just doesn't understand where I'm at yet. If you just press the A button, it will center itself right. Um, now, the way this works here is when you're working with this interface, um, the mouse will work just fine. So you can go to location, for example. Um, I'll come here. And you can see I already got my plane. Um, I'll, it's actually my helicopter. I'll move it back over here a little bit. And uh, But you can go through this map and use the mouse. I found the mouse is actually easier to use than the hand controllers. So I just go uh, back to there, and then I hit start. Okay, so I'm sitting here in the uh, helicopter. is loading up the scenery a little bit. If I click the A button again, it will kind of make sure to center things uh, to where my viewpoint is for the for the airplane that I am in. Now, to go ahead and load the, the screens, right, it's actually pretty easy. So now I just rotate my wrist over, and it sometimes got a trigger. I, I just um, did this uh, create overlay, all right, and it kind of popped this screen up here. I don't want this whole thing, so I just do Windows, and I do Chrome, and that gives me the moving map. Now, you have to have this map open for this to work. And then if you just hold down the side button, that's where I can move things. So I can move it wherever I want, right there. And then if I hold down the um, trigger button and the side button, and I pull towards me, it makes it smaller. So it makes it about here. Hold down that side button, it goes about there. And I can back it off and do something like that. Um, and then to interact with it, usually I use the left controller. And I'll just click where I want it to be. You can see the little cursor showed up. And there's the typo map. And then there's the regular map. And you kind of just put it over. The, I try to put the cursor over. There's the airport right there. If I click on that, there's my air cut port frequencies. Um, if I need to scroll, that's a little trickier to do. But if I just click this down there, it will scroll down. So it tends to work fine. And then um, I can, like, here's my airspace. And I can turn it off. Okay. And you can also um, zoom in and zoom out of the map. So I can zoom out just clicking this. And I've noticed that when you do the zoom in and zoom out, it does take a second to do it, so just kind of be patient with it. And sometimes with the file aircraft, it won't want to zoom out, so you can uncheck that, and it will allow you to uh, zoom out, and it tends to do a little better job. Sometimes if you have file aircraft checked, it will zoom in on that aircraft, even when you zoom it out, and it kind of messes it up. But that's how I uh, interface with the map, and all the other stuff um, with the map app, I should say, Everything else works just fine. Okay, so then I wanted to say intentions. I don't have to open up the say intentions app because it's open right now and it will work just fine. But sometimes it's helpful to see it. Um, same process. I just go here and create overlay. It comes up to uh, to this right here. You kind of hover until you get that little window thing, and then you look for say intentions. It's this one right here. It says system say intentions AI, and that's it right there. Okay, so I can just grab that. And a lot of times what I'll do is I pull that way over, um, and then I'll start to minimize it. And I just pull it way over and put it like, you know, I can put it like where the co-pilot would be seeing his stuff, because I don't need to see any of those displays over there. I can put it over here or whatever. Um, but I just put it there, and that way um, I can see what's going on. I can see the frequencies for the airport that I'm at, just in case they might be different than one map. But for the most part, I fly like this, and I get the map sitting here. Now, if I need to move this map down, you know, I can just move down a little ways. All right, and it's perfectly fine. It's out of my way. Um, to actually exit the game or change the setting in the game, I hit the um, X on the uh, right controller, and it brings up the game interface. Okay, and I can just hit uh, start again, and we'll 
put it back. Now, sometimes what will happen is if I have the map here, and I have the map, say I have the map sitting right here, and I hit that X. Now it's going to do this. The map's going to override it. And that's really easy. You just take the map and just pull it away. And it would be the same as say intentions. If it was happened to be say intentions that did that, um, you can do the same thing. Okay. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy to work with. And a lot of times, like I say, when I fly, I actually take the left hand controller once I get things set up and I just lay that on the floor and I don't mess with it anymore. And I use everything with just, just one hand. Um, you can click inside the aircraft, you can do anything. But this actually works out really well. And so to uh, exit out, just hit this. And I hit exit here. Yes, please. That takes me out of the game. And put me back in my home window. And you can see my overlays and everything. Um, they're actually, they're down there. I should have shut those off first. But it really doesn't matter. Because once I get out of VR, um, I'll get out of it. So then what I do is I just hit the, the three menu thing. And I click here. And exit VR. And that's it.